hello my good viewers all of you kindly see my video and try to comment whether i am everything is clear to you all or not okay i will explain you book rs kurmi afterwards but presently uh, i will first um, first few days i will try to explain some basic fundamentals for that reason i am uh, so before i start basic fundamental we all know that everything which we can see out in our environment okay some which we can see and those things which reduces human work that is known as machine what is machine everything which we see in our environment and which reduces human work is known as machine so in this diagram as if you can see in this diagram that top f if you see in top okay what is the thing mechanism first i will explain you what is mechanism this top circle which you can see in this top in this top circle which you see this top circle is mechanism what is mechanism mechanism means when anything moves okay anything which is in motion or which is moving that is known as mechanism and which we can see in our environment which reduces human work is known as machine okay so when anything moves then only you can reduce human work like fan when fan is rotating fan is giving air and we are feeling comfortable so fan is rotating fan is moving so it is reducing human work in olden days what is there in olden days people used to fan you might have seen in uh, movies or any serials what is there the king is coming then there will be some maids or some person who used to fan them and they are feeling comfortable but nowadays fan is there so no need of having any maids or anything to to give fan so when fan is moving fan is circulating here and that is giving us air so that is a machine so when anything moves due to which it do reduces human work that is machine so only moving only after moving only it reduces human work so the top circle which you can see this is mechanism then machine what is machine which is reducing human work all the thing not only fan you can talk about stapler all those things stapler you might every day day to day using stapler those things which all are used to reduce human work that is machine what is engine which transforms one form of energy to another if anybody ask you example example hydroelectric power plant hydroelectric power plant can also be explained as engine then because here and what is heat engine no heat engine which trans which produces heat due to that heat production you are producing doing useful work example ic engine internal combustion engine by bus truck whatever you see those are all heat engine even power plant thermal power plant like ntpc all those things are heat engine but what if i say you all heat engine is an engine is it correct yes it is correct because everything which is you are doing all the works which you are doing all the works which is burning fuel and producing heat and that heat is doing useful work that is an heat engine and it also in heat engine it forms one form of energy to another that's why all heat engine is an engine but all you do all engine is an heat engine if i ask you do all engine is an heat engine then you will say no why all engine is not an heat engine then answer you will give him all engine is not an heat engine because all engines which you can see is not heating or not combustion is not taking place example hydroelectric power plant hydroelectric power plant combustion is not taking place so but hydroelectric power plant can be defined as an engine but it is not an heat engine so do all mechanism is a machine if i ask you yes all do all mechan machine is a mechanism you will say yes do all mechanism is a machine you will say no why because everything which is moving is not reducing human work so you cannot say all mechanism is a machine but you can say all machine is an mechanism so top circle is mechanism then circle is machine then it is engine then inside it is heat engine so again you see this video in a video i am showing you the video in a proper manner so i am showing you the ppt also in a proper manner this top circle which you can see 
This has a mechanism. This circle is machine. Then this is heat engine. Then inside circle is heat engine. Up first inside circle is heat engine. Then engine. Second circle is engine. Then after that is after that circle is machine and top circle is mechanism. Again, I am telling you bottom circle. Totally, if you go in the middle, bottom circle is is what heat engine. After that circle is engine. Then after that machine and after that is mechanism. No, what is the difference between IC engine and external combustion engine? Internal combustion engines. If anybody asks you, what is the difference between internal combustion engine and external combustion engine? Then answer you will give. Internal combustion engines, all bus, trucks, everything which you can see, those things which are moving. Where combustion is taking place, which but it takes place inside the cylinder, which we cannot see. That is internal combustion engine. But when combustion is taking place outside the cylinder, that is external combustion engine. In a power plant, combustion is taking place inside the furnace. Where combustion takes place inside the furnace. You are burning coal. In external combustion engine, please remember, external combustion engine. It is not necessary that you will only burn pet diesel, petrol. No. But internal combustion engine is fuel specific engine. Like diesel engine, you have to burn diesel only. Petrol engine, you have to burn petrol only. But in external combustion engine, it is not fuel specific engine. External combustion engine, you can burn either coal, you can burn wood coal, you can burn um, um, coal and um, oil mixture, whatever you want to burn, you can burn. External combustion engine, it is not necessary that only that fuel you have to burn. But internal combustion engine, it is necessary that we have to burn only that type of fuel only. This is the basic difference between internal combustion engine. So before I teach you thermal, first you know what is thermal power plant. Thermal power plant where you are converting where fuel is burning due to chemical reaction, chemical reaction takes place, fuel burn, and due to that heat is generated. Due to that heat generation, you are doing work. So that is thermal power plant. So when you are converting heat energy to power energy, that is thermal power plant. So I'm very thankful. Kindly see this video, all of you. And please, I request you all to subscribe and my video and press the press the bell icon and kindly if you like this video please send me like i will post more and more videos related to academics and i will try to um, explain the rs kurmi book in a very simple and easy manner thank you all of you thank you very much